so guys I, I just want you to watch this video and just check out how cnn is perceiving this issue case and how our government is perceiving it and the way they think other people or other countries ought to have known or they think that they don't know so what Warra is has been in the Everybody custody of nigeria's security forces since august after being charged with treason for organizing a protest against the government he was rearrested earlier this process. month despite two court orders granting him bail so Warra's case has drawn attention to the issue of press freedom in nigeria the country was listed on the committee to project project uh, to protect rather journalists global Im uh, impunity index this year my Colleague Zane Asher spoke with Sawara's wife, Obayeme, earlier. Scary about this case is the fact that the Nigerian government has shown a high level of lawlessness and a real disregard for the rule of law. So um, there are two outstanding court orders um, within Nigeria from two separate judges um, where they have actually released CLA on bail. Um, and the Nigerian government is currently um, ignoring those court orders and still continue to maintain him. So again, he has been kept in isolation for 139 days. So the court orders have been completely ignored. Now, for people who are watching this around the world who know nothing or very little about Nigeria, what do you think your husband's case tells them about the Nigerian justice system and about freedom of expression in that country? I think um, Yale's case is a perfect example of just the fact that the civic space in Nigeria is closing. He is one of many journalists, many activists who are currently um, being deten detained. He's currently one of many who've been named prisoners of conscience, both religious re leaders, journalists, um, as well as politicians. So the Nigerian government actually recently introduced two new bills. One is a social media bill. Um, and the second one is um, a, a, a hate speech bill where um, it's actually punishable by death. So these are bills that will make it possible for the Nigerian government to punish dissent legally within Nigeria. Incredible. And it, it does say a lot about rule of law in that country and about freedom of expression. But just going forward in terms of really putting pressure on the Nigerian government to release your husband. Um, we know that in the U.S., Senator Cory Booker, Senator Bob Menendez have both spoken out. But beyond just tweeting about this case, beyond just sort of issuing statements, what more can the U.S. do in practical terms, and I guess other countries around the world, to make sure that Yele comes home? First of all, I want to say that I'm truly grateful to Menendez and Booker and um, Chuck Schumer, all the different senators who have spoken out as well as the representatives. Um, our, our local congressman, um, Representative Josh Gottheimer, just recently nominated Yele for the Tom Lantos Human Rights um, a freedoms project to be a prisoner of conscience. Um, there are a lot of activity to continue to drive awareness and hopefully start the dialogue to help Yelly to be released. But I would say one voice that um, is really critical in terms of putting pressure and raising awareness on what's happening to my husband is the UN. So my hope is that the UN is able to speak up and help bring my husband home safely to me and our children. His arrest, the staff of his US-based site Sahara reporters say their Nigerian bank account was frozen without notice. They told the committee to protect journalists that this happened in October, hurting their operations. So Gaza, you've heard it all. I think you need to judge for yourself. And there's a saying that a, a dog that is about to get lost, we never hear the whistle of the hunter. I think that's the position of a, the federal government. I don't know what they are holding on to. I don't know what they are holding on to. They are the same people who gave a report some days back that a, what a, the Boko Haram they are trying to do in the future that is going to be so disastrous. And yes, they told us that they gathered a intelligence a report 
they know all of those things, those people who are really causing problems in this country. And this man, the only weapon, the only weapon that Chowore is using against the federal government is speaking out. He's speaking out. You know, when people will say, oh, where is it? Uh, he deserves what he's getting now, that he is one of the people that brought this uh, present administration into power. And what is the big deal about it? And also, they will tell you, oh, yes, he, he was part of the people and let them treat him, let them treat him the way they feel like treating him. And that is why the government is not happy because they felt that, oh, for the fact that he projected them or he used his platform to condemn the former administration before they came in. So maybe they never expected that he, he was going to be saying the same thing. The way he, the way he really undoed the previous government. And they know how powerful that was. And that is why they are not even, they don't just want to give them. Because they know as soon as this guy comes out, it's going to be a different thing. And because they know that it was the same social media they themselves are trying to regulate. It was the same social media, its own platform, that really projected them. And that is the only weapon they are afraid of. I think that, in my opinion, is not because of what they say he wanted to unseat them. Of course, he can unseat them with the social media. He has a very, very big platform. And his influence has really gone outside the country. But notwithstanding, with even what they are doing now, they are even projecting the man beyond what they even expected. But like I said, a dog that is about to get lost, we never hear the, 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 the whistle of the hunter. The more they are trying to keep this guy, the more people are talking about it. Like now, they will come and tell you that. The supporters will come and tell you, oh, CNN, they have collected bribe. Oh, Buhari has already blocked the loopholes that they are getting uh, money from. They are, everybody in this, in this world is corrupt as far as uh, these governments and their supporters are concerned. Everybody is, is corrupt. The one they are using again, oh, you contested for an election. Oh my God, it's really laughable. He contested for an election. We are singing it over and over. And there are people who are still singing it. That's why we will continue to say it. Because that is what they are using. And, you know, f the funny thing is that the whole world knows what is happening from the beginning. And just like the way the, the government is running at Asketa, they want to meet with the U.S. government. I don't know what you want to go and explain to them. You think those people, they don't have a, a way of gathering information, let alone their, their embassies in Nigeria. So what else do you want to tell them? What else do you want to tell other countries? that uh, is happening that they are, they are not aware of that you want to go and explain yourself to them and people are saying the best best is just for them to do the needful do the right thing and maybe you could be lucky that your name will be removed from that list but if you are not doing the needful what do you want to go and negotiate with them it's not as if somebody came to report to them they have their evidence for them to have added nigeria into that list so what are you talking about so they will tell you that so uh, the international communities who are trying to intervene in this matter. They don't know what they are talking about. They don't know what the problem is. Says who? Why are they deceiving themselves? Nigeria is not your property. Nigeria belongs to everybody. Even the ritual that you are holding. Nigeria belongs to him. Nigeria belongs to you and I. So what are you talking about? It is not your father's property. Even your father's property, unless maybe you are the only person that your father gave birth to. Because in as much you have siblings, there is no way you can say, oh, this is my father's this is or this is my father's te uh, territory it cannot be for only you because as you are claiming it other siblings are claiming the same thing so i don't know why because with all this uh, kind of uh, attitude and behavior and this grandstanding always give people insinuation that there's something you know that these guys are doing they have ulterior motive with the way they are doing because after three and a half years you are going to be out of that place if not that you have something that you want to hold on to why all this uh, grandstanding I don't be, I don't understand it. I don't just count. I just, just understand it. The only weapon they know that is working against them. And they are even giving more power to, to that to work against them. This social media. The more you are doing this, the more people will be continue to talk. Because you cannot be more than the millions of Nigerians. If you think you have a, all these uh, security agencies, uh, all these uh, security people that will be guiding you, there is no way even bring them together with you people. They are not up to Nigerians. It is not everybody you will count. It is not everybody you will be able to, you will be able to manipulate. It's not possible. Why can't you do the needful and take the glory? Why can't you do the needful and have your peace? Why can't you do your best and leave the rest? After all, somebody left that place for you guys peacefully without any 
uh, 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 any blood spilled on the on the on the floor because of a, a, a any form of a political career. Somebody left that place. So what was the big deal? I don't just get power, power, power. Do the needful whatever you think you want to do in Nigeria. It is not from your father's pocket. It's not your personal property. You are doing Nigerians. Uh, uh, you think you are doing Nigerians good, and they are complaining about it. People were there before you, and they left peacefully. So why can't you do your own? But and live peacefully so that you have a good name for yourself. It is still possible for them to do to have a rethink. And the unfortunate thing there is that we don't even know people who are really advising the presidency. We don't know. But from the way Gabba Shew speaks, the way Femi Adeshino speaks, you know that these people say they don't even know what is going on. Like uh, this other man, the grass cutter man, say, uh, who is the presidency? We have presidency inside presidency. That is where we, where, where the problem is. Now they have come to tell us that there is no sin, you know, in having Kaba. No, of course, you, you can, you can, you can, you can, you can argue it to any length. But if you have Kabas in your, in your, in your, in the presidency, must it go to the extent of, you know, letting people know that they are the one taking charge? Of course, it is not even Nigerians that said it. It is the same president's wife that said it, that the Kabas have uh, they have jacked, hijacked the, the, the presidency. That the longer, uh, husband is no longer in charge. Recently, the same wife, the president's wife, accused Gabashewu not taking directives from her husband that employed him. Taking uh, directives from somebody who is not even known by law. It is the president's wife that said it. The president's wife said it. It's not even Nigerians. Because any little thing, you know, it is the opposition that are trying to uh, cause a chaos in this country. Now that everybody is saying the same thing, nobody is talking about, you know, the man has been named, you know, um, uh, prisoner of conscience. It is not even uh, anybody. Everybody knows the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Nobody is talking about, oh, you wanted to, you wanted to uh, uh, overthrow the government. Nobody is saying that. The whole world is not seeing it the way this presidency is seeing it. The way Nigerian presidency is seen, the old world is seen it differently. And you cannot be more than the old world. Fair is saying, who made the U.S. Police, policemen or police policemen to, to be monitoring what is happening in Nigeria? You can imagine that kind of statement because you want to satisfy somebody. And they know within their hearts that what is happening is not good, but they're just coming out. They will tell you, I'm just doing my job. But the job that is going to dent your image forever and ever. It's very, very unfortunate because the way Nigerians are seeing it, they will say, oh, Nigerians don't know what is happening. Just like it's the same family addition has said, the people who are concerned about uh, uh, the rearrest of uh, they are not, they are less than 100,000 and they are just making noise. So you want to tell me the US, UK, CNN, all those uh, international media houses, they are all just making noise. They don't know what is happening. They, they are not concerned. I don't know where they are, the kind of the, the caliber of people who are not concerned about the rearrest of Omo Yele They are not talking about the due process that needs to be followed before he was rearrested. He's not talking about that one. He said, No, don't worry. You see the same man because this family you know, is like, when I say he get bad man's way, way. He say, Wailing Wailers. Anybody that criticizes them, criticizes them, criticizes them. Oh, Wailing Wailer. Oh, they are, they are, they are. PDP apologies. Oh, they are this. They they are corrupt. They are the thieves. Oh, because of <laughs> it's really laughable. Now the whole world is see the best best for the government to do is to try to minimize this embarrassment they are giving to themselves. It's just for them to minimize it. But as the way it is, it's like they are they, are, they love it, and it's escalating day by day. So guys, I would like to hear from you what you think about uh, this whole thing. Let's hear your own sake. Leave your comments below. Thank you very much.